Welcome to an unboxing of the Chorus Apex 2. I took this running, rock climbing, took it to strength and conditioning. Let's dive in. Following a course, you can use the touchscreen to swap. Chorus Apex 2 here today at work. For Wedgie. So hello there and welcome to our Active Ideas video. This is the first deep dive into some chorus gear really. I think the Apex have been sent out to all the big time YouTubers and I've had to actually buy my own. What that does give me though is a lot of freedom. For the unboxing, you've basically got the watch here. I must admit the condition of this box isn't great. So it does feel like it's been in a warehouse for a while and really scratched up on the box. You can see here like almost if it's got knife scratches all over it and along the front as well, like some sticky stuff. It's not the most aesthetic looking box. But yeah, we've got the top here and again some dents on the top and another thing I found interesting as well is when you buy the coral version it seems like all the apex 2 boxes have come in the same design so I've got this bright red watch really excited to get my box and when I got it I almost thought they sent me the wrong one you've got these little pull tabs and you've literally just got to pull them down and then you should be able to wiggle the box out and I must admit once we're now inside the box it's really impressive. This feels like it's been given some care, given some love, and there's some weight to the lid when you open it up. You've got your documents here. It's a product warranty, Chorus Apex 2. And we've got Kili and Jornais. So there we go, they've updated some of their marketing. Ironically, I'm wearing Sinto on the other wrist. You get some Chorus stickers. We've also got their motto as well, Explore Perfection. And now for the big time baller, we have the Apex 2. Uh, in terms of obviously the unboxing, it's not as slick as Apple. Unzipping the strap feels really good actually. The strap feels like it's gonna last a very long time and all in all I'm very impressed with the watch it's very small the back is absolutely beautiful you've got the chorus apex 2 titanium sapphire water resistant up to 5 atm and you've got the heart rate gyroscope and barometer on the on the back there and again the weight's not that heavy and for something that's as capable as this watch and it feels so lightweight I can imagine that being super comfortable on your wrist pulling out the bottom of the box and the box is now empty you can indeed confirm that that is the charging cable there's nothing else in that box and off we go so the dial is super responsive I'm liking that then you've got the option to scan the app so I've got the app open here and we're gonna go add new device uh, apex 2 outdoor watch and literally just scan it there for a few seconds and um, we're about to connect pairing the watch so we better update it before we head out for a run so yeah, that's the unboxing done let's just go straight into some of the features now and yeah this is post having it on for a run but I'm convinced there isn't a way to play music off of your phone from the Apex 2, which ironically is a much easier thing to do than spending maybe a whole day downloading music and creating playlists and oh, it's uh, it's back to the MP3 player days. Um, and again, another issue here with using the Apex 2 is yes, it has got topo maps, but when you first get this watch and try to use those mapping features there is no map installed and then when I tried to install the maps it didn't work the first time then the second time I selected the wrong folder then I watched a video by an awesome youtuber that I've been following for a, quite a long time now uh, and managed to finally get the top of maps on there are some different files so on and realized they weren't that good I just found the maps to be very distracting actually um, and I did struggle to see where I was on the course so let's zoom in on the course apex 2 so you click the dial in you'll scroll in see so yeah, I think you can see see what I mean about the confusion that I was having and struggling to see where I was on the map there's just a lot going on what about I like about the Kuros I like the visuals you've got here so you can see that I'm actually really far off my calorie goal today um, yeah and your exercise visual goal that you've got there your steps it's all just very very nice and beautiful interface again being an, a Garmin user naturally um, for the past decade there is a bit of bias here where this looks very much like Garmin here I just felt very familiar I like the training analytics with the Chorus Apex 2 absolutely fantastic stuff where I can dive in and see how am I actually performing compared to my fitness level oh you're only at 96% so you're performing fair it's not looking good Kingsley um, you've got your goals here so really again I don't, I don't think Sinto offer this but what's my five k time going to be my 10k time what's my half marathon and my marathon pace i've never run a marathon quicker than four hours so uh thank you uh cool Ross. you're in the good books again and yeah what are my paces for those distances so you've got the paces here and i can see that you know if i want to run a 5k my critical speed or the speed that i'm going to be able to maintain without fatiguing is going to be um seven minute and 15 per mile so really cool stuff here yeah it's got your performance how am i performing well my fatigue is 
low so I'm ready to go out and train basically is what this is saying and what's my training load looking like so I've got a 362 but for this week or the past seven days I should have been in the ballpark of 500 to 1200 so really kind of cool analysis here what's my four week intensity distribution been like um, so 61% of my training has been easy which is good and the heart rate actually whilst we're at it on the apex 2 is far superior than the the Sinto uh, really good heart rate on the apex 2 really good heart rate on the the pace 2 so yeah you've got the 61% of easy and we've got the uh, medium 27% so maybe that's like your zone 2 to 3 and then your zone 4 to 5 we've got 12% uh, so I'm actually in the ballpark of where I'd want to be for the type of training that I'm aiming the recovery so I am at 100% recovery and I'm ready for hard tr hard training um, I actually have a pulled calf and I've had a pulled calf for about 10 days now so I'm not ready for hard training but you know this isn't a, a miracle device it only knows you know what my heart rate is what my HRV is it only knows what my sleep is it can't tell that I've pulled a muscle and there's no way to input that but you know that's the same with all watches Garmin, Sinto, Coros, Apple Watch you're not gonna be able to tell it that you've got a calf injury and you're actually taking some time off again you've got the heart rate here I'm not gonna dive into the basics of that sleep analysis on the both of them has been good um, I found the sleep analysis on the Coros to be a little bit more accurate in terms of my sleep time so what we're looking at here is last night's sleep last night I slept for around 7 hours and 16 minutes so let's see when the course thought I went to sleep. Can I click onto this? Yes, I can. So I went to sleep at uh, half one in the morning so you look it's worse than I thought and there's no cheat in the chorus I went to sleep at half one that is probably about right so I was stuffing my face with Mexican food at midnight and then I watched the last of us uh, episode four um, until then and then I fell asleep so yeah perfect stuff did I get up at two past nine um, in the morning yes I did scrolling through again you've got the feet here so yeah I recently went skiing and yeah the the apex to I wasn't able to take unfortunately because I'm a small time YouTuber and yeah I've only got the pace 2 sent to me actually by Kouros where I'm going with this story is that the pace 2 is excellent with the altitude so I wouldn't expect anything different with the apex 2 we've got the sunrise and sunset here so when you're uh, on these watch faces you can look at when the sun's going to rise and when the sun's going to set but you're getting a bit more information on the apex 2 here you're seeing actually when does dawn begin and when does dusk begin begin and I think that's very cool information you have the the twilight zones on Garmin as well so yeah, you got your your pressure. One thing I f found really, really annoying with the Coros, and um, as a UK guy who, yeah, we are a bit weird here with our imperial and metric systems, but I want to have my pressure in millibars, and I want to have my temperature in degrees Celsius, and I want to have my running in miles, and I don't think you can do that on the Apex 2. So next, again, so yeah, we've got the temperature here as I was moaning about. Then you've got the chorus training app. This is something that I've never actually used. My mate from uni, uh, Jack Bartlett, he's an MMA fighter, was taking the pee out of me yesterday, just saying, are you still training with no program? And yeah, that's me. I go out, I do what I want, and uh, it's probably a very inefficient way to, to train. We do have notifications through on both of them. Chorus are gonna force you to read every notification. And uh, if you have got a YouTube channel, or if you've got someone who's texted you a million times, or you know, you're part of the Strava community, and you you've been given 15 kudoses in return for your 100 kudoses that you've given uh, with course you're gonna have to click for them all there's no way to like scroll past every uh, widget you have to read every one so yeah, this is an Instagram message and I have to read it there's no getting past it until I read it all and it's quite a long message sport profiles to get them on the course you just click the button in so we selected run on the course we can start an interval so we can choose to navigate we can choose to set an activity alert we can choose the auto pause and that's it so yeah, a lot more limitations on the Coros. Yeah, the battery life's great. Yeah, the GPS is good. Not as good as the Sinto. Yeah, the heart rate is fantastic. Much better than Sinto. Um, but the customization for activity profiles is a bit limited. You can access, which is a bit weird, from the activity profile selection menu. You can access your system settings. You can access your history, training plan, workouts. And then you're back into your sport. So I do feel that that's a little bit... A little bit messy as well. It would be nice to have a separate place for your settings and a separate place for your activity profiles. I do like 
really like this window here so what I did there is hold the back button and that will take you to the controls menu Garmin call it yeah here I can quickly access yeah all my controls stopwatch timer alarm maps music control my GoPro real cool feature control my Insta 360 turn off the Wi-Fi sync my Wi-Fi um, do not disturb mode quick access to my compass HRV, I've really been enjoying that recently to see how stressed my physiological uh, system is and battery usage where you can really dive into what has the battery drop off been like and you can look at all of this, all of these stats. So yeah, there's a lot to access from the quick menu here. The buttons on the chorus again, absolutely fantastic. I'm someone who's come from the Garmin ecosystem and had to deal again with the mushy buttons and stuff like that. The chorus Apex 2 I have had for less than two weeks and I've already uh, grinded and scraped the bezel when I took it to rock climbing so yeah one one session rock climbing scratched to pieces um, on, the, on the bezel so durability this is probably on par with the Garmin range especially the Garmin 7s this is more of the Garmin Fenix 6 it's this is a beast nothing bad to say about it design is great um, yeah, um, and durability much better than the Apex. Also, this climbing session, it did take a knock, but after I went to go and save the profile, it just it just froze. So yeah, again, I'm not sure if that was an issue of software or if it was an issue of impact and durability, but when I stopped my climbing session, I was climbing for maybe two hours, I went to go save the activity and I went into some kind of boot loop issue where every time I went to save the activity, it tried to save it, it kind of freaked out and it went back to the activity and I couldn't exit it, I couldn't get out, I couldn't do anything. And the watch was stuck like that for, I think about four hours that like after my climb that day. I just had to take the watch off, leave it on the side and wait for it to do its thing. And I kept on going back four hours later, nothing was happening. I pressed a load of buttons multiple times to just kind of like get something going. And eventually it kind of got out of this boot loop issue. That really, for me, was a bit of a shock because um, I wasn't expecting to deal with bugs like that. Yeah, it kind of put a bit of fear into my heart because if I was going to go and do an ultra race where I'm relying on my watch for, for maps or, yeah, if I'm doing a multi-day event, anything like that, something that I don't want to be worrying about is like weird boot loop issues on the sport sensitivity profile screen where you're kind of locked in these profiles or you go to pause it when you're at an aid station, you can't get out. Not sure if it was just that watch or what happened there. Uh, another thing I found as well was that coming from Garmin, you are so spoiled out there. And I did find myself looking back. I mean, I have used the Fenix, the Enduro, the 955, but yeah, the training ad analytics that Garmin give you. So they're, they're monitoring everything. I mean, everything down to your HRV, so your heart rate variability when you're sleeping, will be calculated into your training readiness score. And I thought that that was definitely, the numbers I was getting from Garmin were, were definitely more accurate in terms of how I was feeling as a, an athlete. They're not quite there yet. They've got a really long way to go with the software so that it integrates with each other. It all feels very segmented. So you've got like your sleep, for example, where you can go look at your sleep widget, but then that's got nothing to do with the HRV, which you've got to kind of act activate manually and then you yourself have to digest this HRV score which isn't given to you in the industry standard it's given you to you in a way that chorus have kind of adopted it and given you a score out of 100 but I think a lot of athletes if they care about their HRV score they're going to know what their actual milliseconds are if they don't care what the HRV score is they are definitely not going to be activating it manually yeah with the chorus I found that even even Sunto was handling the um, connection better. So I'd get back and maybe after a couple of minutes, the Sunto would just automatically ping up to Strava. Um, and with Kouros, I really felt like I had to go onto the app, even though I've checked the iPhone settings and they seem to be good. I'd have to refresh, scroll down, and that would rekindle the relationship between the phone and the watch. And even then it wouldn't be instant, there'll be quite a delay. It's definitely time to make that integration better and again that might have just been my settings it might have just been my iphone it might just have been my watch but that's what i found anyway also the backlight as well so at night time on the garmin's you can turn the backlight down to like five percent you can have it ten percent you have it a hundred percent you can choose what you want to do you can also change that for different activities or parts of the day with the chorus there isn't any of that it's just like the backlight is on or off the gps accuracy was really good the heart rate again was good and reliable. The comfort was definitely there. It's giving you all the basic metrics that you need to really get on with your day. And if Elliot Kipchoge and, and Kylian Jenner are using these watches and training with them, you know, who are we to say that we need or want more? 
So yeah, they're giving you all that you really need to prevail in, in this sport. So yeah, that's been my, my report from the Apex 2. Hopefully I get to test the Vertex 2 soon. I'm doing the spine race and that's the watch I'm highly interested in because of the battery life. And yeah, I've really loved using the Pace 2. So I'm gonna continue to use that, especially for gym. It's just awesome for like hit workouts and stuff. And I'm excited to hopefully get my hands one day on the Apex 2 Pro, because I think maybe that was what I was wanting the Apex 2 to be. But anyway, apart from that, peace out. So thanks for watching. You know the drill. Like, comment, and subscribe if you can. My slogan, dreams are a step away. And remember, show compassion, show esteem, and have fun out there. Peace out.